so we have two capacitor capacitance is C1 and C2 C1 is charged to a potential difference of 120 volt and C2 is charged to a potential of 200 volt now let us say this is positive plate and this is negative plate and this is negative plate and this is positive plate let us find charge on each capacitor we will use Q is equals to CV formula so charge on capacitor 1 that is Q1 is equals to C1 V1 V1 is 120 volt so this is the charge similarly we can calculate charge on capacitor 2 that is Q2 is equals to C2 V2 V2 is 200 volt so this is the charge and unit will be coulomb now these two capacitors are connected so that final potential of each capacitor becomes zero so final potential difference across each capacitor is 0 this means both capacitor has no charge so we can say basically charge gets neutralized charge gets neutralized on each capacitor this means we have to connect positive terminal with negative terminal and negative terminal with positive terminal so that we can have neutralization of charge and complete neutralization is possible only if both capacitor has equal amount of charge that is we can write Q1 is equals to Q2 that is 120 into C1 is equals to 200 into C2 or we can further divide so we will have 3 C1 is equals to 5 C2 or 3 C1 minus 5 C2 is equals to 0 so this is the condition when connecting two capacitor 
each will have zero potential difference. So this is option number 4, 3C1 is equals to 5C2. So option 4 is the correct answer.